Hey, what's up, guys? Kane here with XBLA fans, and I'm going to be giving you another five games like. The Binding of Isaac is a fantastic game with a pretty rabid fan base, so I'm expecting to take just a little bit of heat for some of my choices in this video. When it comes down to it, there are so many different things we could attribute to the success of Binding of Isaac. The irreverent subject matter, the incredible Edmund McMillan aesthetic, the, the deeply engrossing gameplay loop. It's just really hard to nail it down to one single reason. And while it would be easy to just list a ton of games that have tried to copy it on a kind of like paint by numbers way, I'd rather nail down a few games that have captured that same sort of feeling. These are deep games. These are games that take a lot of skill to master. And most importantly, these games are insanely fun. I'm confident anyone watching this video will have your own suggestions. So please do leave them in the comments. We really hope you enjoy this video. Enter the Gungeon is probably the closest to Binding of Isaac you're going to find on this list. Gungeon is a bullet hell roguelite that blends handcrafted levels with procedurally designed levels. Uh, your enemies are followers of the cult of the gun dead. The entire game is full of bullet and kind of gun aesthetic, including some really crazy looking enemies. The enemy designs are diverse and pretty varied. And more importantly, they have repeatable patterns that you'd expect to be able to kind of master how to properly dispatch them. The game features a diverse set of playable heroes, each with their own perks. Mastering the game's dodge roll will become key as levels often fill full of enemy fire. Weapons are insanely diverse, and the game features some truly bonkers weapons. If you want to kill an enemy with a fish, rainbows, or mail, this game is for you. Ender the Gungeon is available on Xbox One, PC, PlayStation, and Switch, and on the Xbox One, the game is part of the Play Anywhere program. It also features local-only co-op. Rogue Legacy is a rogue light platformer. If you thought we were going to stick to just twin-stick shooters, I'm glad we can hopefully pleasantly surprise you. Uh, players take on an ancient lineage of people storming an ancient castle full of enemies and loot. As a player dies, they have the option to select a child and push forward afterwards. Each of these new characters will have unique traits, including both the class of the unit, uh, as well as some random genetic modifiers. And as the player progresses, they can make themselves stronger by spending gold. There is a massive skill tree to buff your character, and each playthrough will make you more powerful than the last. The game features some truly random traits on the units and can make for a pretty crazy experience. Rogue Legacy is available for Xbox One, PlayStation, and PC. The game does feature local co-op. Crypt of the Necrodancer is a hardcore roguelike that uses rhythm in an effort to make a game both fair and fast-paced. The developers wanted a roguelike that high-level players could master and succeed at on a regular basis. Every enemy moves on the beat and in a regularly recognizable pattern for the player. The beat forces players to react quickly and instinctively from their experience versus allowing them to stay in one place, deeply studying the situation. The levels are procedurally generated and the game features an incredible pulse-pounding soundtrack. Players who consistently move on the beat are rewarded with bonuses. This game is insanely deep and the rhythm mechanic is far from just a gimmick. Crypt is out on Xbox One, PC, and PlayStation 4 and does feature local co-op. Ziggurat is easily the least well-known game on this list, but you had to expect at least one title to sneak in here. This is an FPS dungeon crawler with roguelite elements. The game has an old school vibe while mixing in some more modern controls. The enemies are incredibly strange and diverse, including some evil carrot monsters. Spells, level ups, traps, bonuses, uh, bosses, perks, and new weapons await you. Players take on the role of a new sorcerer on a death-filled adventure into a labyrinth of random dungeons. Ziggurat is available on Xbox One, PC, PlayStation 4, and Wii U. Spelunky is the one game on this list that predates The Binding of Isaac. Players travel through procedurally generated caves and collect tre treasure and save damsels. Spelunky inspired a lot of future roguelikes and really still holds up today. Uh, each playthrough is unique. Players have access to a handful of tools at their disposal, such as bombs and ropes, and the game features some basic platforming and definitely feels a little reminiscent of Mario at times. Can you take down Olmec? 
Spelunky is available on Xbox 360, PC, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, and is playable on Xbox One via backwards compatibility. The game features up to four player local co-op. Thank you again so much for checking out our videos. We really do appreciate it. We will have more five games like coming for you every week. If you like our content, please do share it. You have no idea how instrumental you guys are in making it possible for us to do what we do. Uh, thanks again, and please do let us know if you pick up any of the games or what games you would recommend we look at next. Later.